Scorpio, you are represented by the Fool and the Sun. So for some of you, there may be a tie to a Leo person, but if not, you are making some changes. You're moving in a new direction. Maybe you've changed your attitude. Maybe you're working on your health. You're making some decisions that are life-changing. Could be that you're relocating, a new job, a new relationship, any number of things, but a new chapter is opening up in your life. Now, this may be you acting on faith. You're moving forward. You're taking a leap of faith and hoping that something will work out. And it very well may, but you have to be practical. You have to use your common sense. You can't be gullible or naive. So you are cautiously moving forward, or you should be, uh, in a new direction. And there are also issues that center around commitment. How committed are you? How committed is your partner? You, you may be going with the flow of something. You may be tr having new experiences, trying new things. So you could have some things that are very novel to you. And because it's a new experience, there may be some slight difficulty in integrating that into your consciousness because you've never done it before. And it could be that in some cases, these changes are driven by some unexpected career or domestic situations that are unsettling. Uh, for some of you, maybe you're traveling or maybe you're making a decision that concerns children. Uh, so this is the new, the novel, the unexpected and this could be a welcome change or, again, something that may be thrust upon you because of circumstances. But this is a good time to get out there and do something new. Change your perspective. Introduce yourself. Network. And you will be coming in contact with new people and possibly people that tie to your success or opportunity. Because the sun says there's something to look forward to. You may feel a greater sense of optimism about these new changes, this new direction. You may feel feel uh, happy about that. And so for some of you, you're making decisions about children, about a romance, about a vacation, about your happiness, your health, your vitality, your success and well-being. And it's likely that, again, doors are opening. There are opportunities for you to, to move ahead, to make some changes, to make some good connections. You have a resourceful network in support and behind you, friends, acquaintances, your lover, uh, so there's a period of happiness, something to look forward to, a bright spot on the horizon. However, this is also about, you know, letting your arrogance or your temper, or your frustration or impulsiveness get in the way and where you end up burning yourself. You end up saying something out of frustration or doing something impulsively, not being practical, and that comes back to bite you. You get in your own way. But positively, you know, there's you feel a sense of well-being and happiness about a situation. And you have to be careful that you're not pushing too hard going in this new direction, that you don't try to make it all happen yesterday so that you don't end up burning yourself out or an important connection. And it may have to do with making some, again, some changes. Now, it could be that there's some frustration connected to these changes. Maybe you're even arguing over it, or there's some kind of health disturbance or upsetting decisions. Uh, so for some of you, you know, the, there's some family dynamics that are impacting the relationship. Maybe, uh, again, this ties to children or your happiness, you could be arguing with a partner or with a child, it could be some disagreements, maybe, you know, somebody's very competitive, it's all about winning, or there's some difficulty in communicating in some way. So there could be some changes that occur because of an argument, or maybe you're bringing an end to some kind of discord. There is an ending, maybe you have to face the truth about something, or it could be that you're waiting in vain for success. There's something is upsetting. Now, the romance is characterized by the Nine of Cups and the Magician. So for some of you, now we have a tie to Gemini. Uh, you may be very satisfied, maybe satisfied with your ability, satisfied with an important male figure, your own uh, 
virility or sexuality. Uh, it could be that maybe somebody has some player personality being exhibited. Somebody's very selfish, self-oriented, hedonistic. They're seeking pleasure or manipulating situations for personal gain. Hopefully this is, you know, some sense of emotional fulfillment. There's something that you want, some kind of wish. Maybe this is connected to your resources, could be financial, could be some knowledge or expertise that you're trying to gain. But this is the wish card, getting some sense of fulfillment about something and knowing clearly what you want because you're likely to get it. This is a period where you probably won't meet with any kind of resistance or pushback. So it's important that you're clear on what you want. And so, you know, your desires are important and you have to carefully consider what they may cost you or what the consequence of them may be. You know, this is not, you know, you're going into uncharted territories. What does that look like? Is it really what I want? And so for some of you, you know, this is your ability to find fulfillment. But for others of you, somebody may be emotionally closed off. They're not giving up the goods. They've shut down for whatever reason. So either your wishes are fulfilled or this is a good time for you to have confidence and rely on yourself and your ability to push forward. That means if there's something that you want from your partner or from a relationship, put it out there, uh, negotiate, because you're very resourceful at saying what you want, saying what your needs are right now, and you have the ability to influence and get that. In fact, everything you need is at your disposal. You've got a lot of charisma, a lot of magnetism, a lot of confidence, and you feel very strongly about what your capabilities are and your ability to manipulate in positive ways for an outcome. Now, negatively, somebody could be, again, a player. They're manipulating simply for personal gain. This is the liar, the opportunist, the con person. They're simply uh, out to get something without giving anything in return. Again, this may tie to an important male figure. It could be a son, a husband, a partner, or somebody that can offer you some kind of advice, knowledge, skill, or expertise. Uh, you may be satisfied with that, or you may be emotionally closed off to that. And this may tie to somebody trying to gain empowerment. Uh, it could be power over family resources or, you know, closing off to the family. So again, family dynamics or conditioning are affecting your relationship. Now, maybe it's important that you share, you're satisfied, you see the same, uh, you look at life the same way, you share the same family values. Maybe you're creating some family traditions together. Maybe, you know, you're having some dinners or some social functions uh, maybe you have this desire to start a family or you're getting together with the family. You're dealing with extended family. But the point is in some uh, some part of this situation to gain personal power to in order to manifest some kind of plan or dream that you have. And you may decide to take on more of a leadership role in order to do that. Maybe you're becoming the head of the family or you're trying to uh, make your family happy, or in some cases, perhaps make yourself happy by closing off to family members where they've had undue influence. Now, why is this occurring?